Hey, how's it going? Chris here. In this video, I want to address the questions I've been getting about the Bitcoin crash or is Bitcoin dead? Is this the end of it? Etc. Etc. Yesterday, if you were to go on coin market cap and look at the, the top 100 cryptocurrencies, almost everything was red, everything was down. And so, you know, it leads some people who are new to the space of investing and believing in these cryptocurrencies that, well, perhaps this is the end of it, everything just crashed, it's over. All right. My quick answer on this is that I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all because the way I look at this is I'm interested in the space in the long term and specifically I'm really a believer in the technology and what it does. And so in this video, I want to give you a sense of how I think about investing and thinking about cryptocurrencies for the long run. Also, quick note, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not giving you financial advice. These are just my thoughts and musings on the subject, so take it for what it's worth. If you're like a lot of my friends, you may just be getting into crypto and Bitcoin maybe in the past month or past few months. And so if you're new to it, you may be, I imagine you go and you look every day or every few days, right? And you're looking and you're seeing these rises and you're thinking, wow, oh, it's going up every day, it's gonna be great, right? You imagine, you know, maybe I'm gonna be a millionaire one day, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, and who knows, nobody knows, right? It's super risky, it could go up, it could go to zero, who knows? But you see a crash like yesterday, it's down 27%, right? It's down 20% and you start to have these thoughts, you know, am I an idiot? Did I lose all my money? Do I know what I'm doing? Is it dead? These kind of things. And so my take is that I am looking at the long-term utility value and I believe in, in Bitcoin, in the blockchain, in the different cryptos in the space. Do I know that it's going to win and be the best thing that everybody's using, you know, that everyone in the population? I have no idea, nobody really knows, you know? And if you ask 100 people who are the most smartest people on this subject, they're all gonna say, nobody really knows. You know, you have faith in something and you believe in something and so, you know, I wanna invest in it and support it and yes, I do think that there are ways to get financial uh, gains from it and that's all marvelous, but, to be, you know, day trading or putting in your money and taking it out, that kind of stuff just really, it doesn't interest me. And in, I'm really just kind of in, invested in thinking about the long term of how this plays out. Kind of the Berkshire Hathaway, you know, the Warren Buffett method of just, just choosing something, making a smart decision and really sticking with it and believing with it. If you look at, uh, if you look at the price fluctuation over the course of um, since 2009, one of my favorite places to look at that is if you go to Coindesk here, coindesk.com forward slash price, you can see the price for Bitcoin. And uh, you can see that over time there have been quite a few uh, you know, rises and falls, right? And you can do this, you could kind of hold like this, you could kind of grab it like that and, and zoom in. And you can see that you know during the time around the Mount Gox, um, the Mount Gox fall, fall down, right? And uh, in 2013, we saw we saw quite a bit of dips, right? It lost almost, I guess that's about half, from about 1,000 to 500, right? And rebounded, and if we come back out here, go back to you all, you can see that even, was this, let me go back out, was this even earlier this year, I think, we were seeing, you know, something like 30% dips on certain, yes, yeah, so this, is, this is only September, right? So uh, so this this is pretty normal. Uh, this is a pretty a pretty normal thing. It doesn't again. It doesn't mean that it's gonna always rebound. Nobody nobody freaking knows, right? But uh, but it's important to look at the history and kind of get get ready for the ride. I think the best video that I've seen online that explains this is there's a video with uh, with Mr. Bean and there's these people on a roller coaster and they're going up and everything's really good and everything's really good and then when it crashes, everybody screams they're like ah because that's how you act on a roller coaster. Um, but Mr. Bean, he looks like he's been doing this before and he's like, shh, you know, like, like, whatever, this is normal. I do this all the time, right? Um, I, think, I think you have to have a stronger stomach to, to really appreciate just the, the crazy fluctuations that, that happen in this space. It's, um, it's one way that I think about investing or about you know, the power of, of the blockchain in this specific situation is that there's the possible for really high multiple returns. And as long as you're not risking money that you, you, know, you need for food or rent, like I would only put a little, a minimum amount, like money that you, 
I would consider any money you put in Bitcoin money that you could do without, that you might just have to go, this could go to zero, right? Uh, because you never, you never, never, never know. I mean, even if, even if cryptocurrency as the genre wins, I mean, you never know. Bitcoin may not be the number one. It may go away. It just, I'm just being totally honest. Like you don't really, really, really know. So you want to put, you know, if anything, the advice that I would give, you know, or, the, or what I do, I wouldn't give to you, but the advice that I would like give to myself or to a friend, um, is I would just say, just don't put money in that you can't afford to lose. But I do think for myself, it's important to look at things that have these, you know, multiple returns. The fact that since Bitcoin started, there's been something. I think it's of something like a million percent or like maybe 500 million percent. I don't even know, it's just, you know, so there, there's such a potential for growth. And, uh, and I think that is an important way to look at it. It's just kind of long-term growth and really believing in the utility, meaning what it's actually gonna eventually do, um, or maybe in Bitcoin as a stored value, like gold, maybe what it's already doing as being the thing to hold on to long-term. So how do I feel about the Bitcoin crash or future Bitcoin crashes? I, I'm not worried about it because I'm not day trading. I have a little bit of money that I don't think I am, you know, I don't need. Like it's like a, a, a my friend Cedric always says, an offensively small amount of money, which I think is important. Uh, and I look at it in a longer perspective. Uh, Bitcoin has crashed, um, it's crashed about 30% 30, 30 six times in 2017. So it's crashed about 30% six times. This is the sixth time. Uh, and I, th I believe that over time, it will, it will continue to do this and eventually level off as there is more faith in it. It may take five years, it may take 10 years. It's really hard to say. You know, and so in the meantime, you know, when you're investing, I would say don't be day trading and don't put money into any cryptocurrency that you don't know the utility value. You don't know why it exists because then you're gonna, you're gonna have this anxiety. You're setting yourselves up, yourself up to be anxious and uh, you know, this just this week, I literally heard a friend tell me, a good friend of mine, he said, uh, I put a thousand dollars in Einsteinium because I like the name, <laughs> which is funny if you're watching. Um, and then uh, I had another friend who texted me and he said, I put a, I put a few thousand dollars in Verge because John McAfee likes it. Like, who cares? I don't know. You know, you should like it. You should understand it. And if you do, and if you have that kind of longer term historic you know, perspective on where these things are going and the risk and you believe in it, then it may it may be a really um, it, it may work out that you'll have less anxiety and at least understand when it really is dead, which is not these these small thirty percent crashes or corrections, which are likely the case. Correcting being because it had doubled in the past month, it basically just kind of landed somewhere in between. So that happens. If you enjoyed this video, I have more here on YouTube where you can learn how to store your money and how to think about Bitcoin, not only as an investment, but what I think is most importantly as a technology. I also have a course, One Month Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a course that I teach um, in part at Columbia University and I have it online at onemonth.com. I'll put the link down below. Maybe it's for you or maybe you wanna share it with a friend so they can buy their first crypto uh, and, and know how to think responsibly about the technology and innovations that are coming and, uh, and how important it is we understand and adapt. Education is super important. So uh, put some comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you can, I would love that. And I will see you next time.